I'm going to be setting up a colour change LED suitable for a lightsaber. To do this I'm using these which are, I think they're called potentiometers, but basically I'm going to be using them as a variable resistor. This will allow me to limit the amount of power coming from each colour of a four colour LED, these particular ones, red, green, blue and white. I'm sure I've got some red, green, blue, ambers somewhere, but I can't find them right now. If I do, I'll either upload a new video or update this one to include them. So yeah, first things first, I need to wire up the LED and the resistor. So I'm going to use four of these connectors. It's a, another type which I originally got in. Basically, I'm not after confusing this LED and wiring it up incorrectly, but the for now, just for one held set up to use the variable resistors, so I basically don't want to waste this LED on the wrong type. So plus is red, negative is black. Oh, sorry, positive is red, negative is black. So I'm just going to wire this up to make use of those. This is going to be a bit awkward considering how small the contacts are, but I can do it. It'll probably actually be easiest if I just wired up all of one side when all of the other. Now, I've pre-attacked these and stuck some solder on the pads, otherwise this would be an awful lot more awkward. Bit fiddly wiring up a cool colour LED, especially like this one. A lot of them have got side by side contacts. This one's got opposite side contacts, which makes it a bit more awkward to wire up because, of course, the cables have to cross the die. But yeah, I think that's all done. So now I've got here my power pack and switch. This, of course, has got the wrong connector type at current, so I'm just going to wire up the correct sort of connectors. So this is essentially an adapter to convert from my one standard to another. Plug this in here, here, and turn the switch on. So that's red. Green. Blue. White, so all four colours work individually. So now I'm going to wire this up. You'll notice that it's got three pins, but I only actually need to use two of them. This pin is not necessary for what I'm doing. So. I'm going to... I need double red because, of course, this is to reduce the power coming from 
Oh, getting to one of the LEDs. So I want to wire it in series with the rest of the circuit. So, solder and iron, solder. I've wrapped the contact around. And now I just use a bit of solder to stick it on. And now I do the same with the middle contact. I have way more of wire than I need here, so I'm just going to snip it off. Those scissors were actually designed for wire cutting, so I wasn't risking damaging them. And there's a little loose thread that seems to be going between the two terminal so I don't want that so I'm gonna snip it off. Okay so now I really want to get some heat shrink which I thought I'd got to hand. Okay, so this is one resistor wired up. I'm just going to test that I haven't got it wired up for unclarity or anything stupid like that. So, plug it in. Switch it on. And then, by twisting this, I can brighten or dim the colour. Yep, definitely works. So I now just need to wire up another four of these. So here is the finished lightsaber with the potentiometers to power the blade, I'll switch it on. Now, blade colour is rather dim at the moment, but as I adjust each of the potentiometers, the colours come up. And of course, I can switch two colours on at once. So, blue and a green gives a turquoise type colour. Green and red gives yellows and oranges. Red and blue gives pinks and purples. All three at four gives a weird colour. Uh, I suppose this would be a very pale pink. So turn red down a bit and you're getting more of a purple, a pale purple. Turn red down more and you're back to the, oh yeah, 
we can just fiddle around with the colours and get yeah, infinite colour combinations. We have a bit of experimentation. I figured out the potentiometers only have about 10 different steps each. So that's only about a thousand colours, not infinite. Unfortunately, I'd originally planned to do four colours, but there just wasn't room in the health to get four of these in. I actually had to modify them a fair bit. As you'll probably be able to see, and certainly on stills which I'm going to upload with this, I had to seriously shorten down the length of the knob to correct things. I also had to make modifications to the bottom of the potentiometers to make them fit. But but we still show all this. All in all, this is a great way to make it to give you a colour changing lightsaber. I just wish I'd been able to get it to work a bit better. And I also wish I'd been able to find a amber LED. I'm sure I've got one somewhere, but it's probably one of the hills and it could be good to take them all apart to find it. But yeah, colour change lightsaber with potentiometers definitely works. Next time we'll probably be looking for some more compact potentiometers, either that or a slightly wider section to put them in. But yeah, it definitely works. Yields interesting potentials for customising colours on the fly. And pretty easy to do. If you've got the basic electronics knowledge to put this together and you've got the tools to customise your hilt to put them in, or you order a pass from, say, for example, the custom saber shop and ask for custom machining work to give you holes to put these in, it'll be fine. As you can probably see, my holes do not all line up neatly. This is because I was just essentially using a clamp and a drill to drill the holes out. Didn't work perfectly. I mean, it's dented and got loads of small gouges out of this piece of aluminium, but I can clean that up later. But yeah, potentiometer lightsaber definitely works.